And if I told you once, I ain't gonna tell you twice. Salute all my real ones. Yeah. Listen, champ, we got the biggest mansions in the world. Uh, the one, the one, the one. There's a mansion called the one. It's in California. Uh, it, it, like the guy was trying to, the guy that made it, spent like 200 million on it, uh, was trying to sell it for 500 million, couldn't keep up with the payments. Uh, it wound up, it wound up going uh, in the foreclosure, and I think the guy from Snap or Square, one of them scooped it up for like a hundred, a hundred eighty million or something like that. That man, you better be on this list. Um, if y'all haven't seen that video, just type in the one mansion on YouTube. It's two parts in in. In utter fucking, the mansion has a guest house that's bigger than most people's mansions. Like, it has a guest house separate that's bigger. We gonna get straight to this video, like button, subscribe button, notification bell, press those, let's go. If there's one thing humanity is really good at, it's, it's making things very big, way bigger than they have any right to be. Slaps knee. <laughs> Shout out to you, God. And as more and more people get richer and richer, not to be confused day, with the we can afford to build some of the biggest homes imaginable. Homes so big it would make medieval royalty blush. I we'll think that's the one right the there. Majority. Hold on. So big it would make medieval that's it right royalty there. blush. We'll be look, 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 go back. Biggest homes look, imaginable. Like, I'm homes saying go back. Right there on the right side of that property. Y'all see that right there? That, that's the guest house, and it's five thousand square feet. The whole shit is like a hundred thousand square feet. So big, it would make medieval royalty blush. And they got like a track around it. the most luxurious and incredibly massive mansions the world has ever seen. Number 10, Mesa Vista Ranch, 33,000 square feet. You know when they say everything is bigger in Texas? This is exactly the kind of stuff they're talking about. Or they're telling a dirty joke. Mesa Vista Ranch is one of the most expensive properties in the United States and was owned by late oil prospector and hedge fund founder Boone Pickens, who had a net worth of $500 million. The mansion itself isn't the largest around. There's a reason it's occupying the number 10 spot on this list, but I just simply had to put it. Why? That's because the ranch itself is a whopping 64,800 acres large. Did I mention it's in Texas? 64,000 yes. acres. On the ranch is Bro, a there are towns about smaller than that. And I always feet, said, yo, let me just, just get a tiny fraction acres. of the space like, of this yo, massive ranch. Yo, an acre is basically more or less the size of a football field. 65,000 acres is 65,000 football fields. Bro, like, there are many cities in America smaller than that. This dude has a city to himself. The mansion comes with a dining room large enough to fit 40 people and a home theater big enough to seat 30 people that comes with an adjoining popcorn. That's all good. Elsewhere on the property, there's an 11,500 square foot lake house with 3,800 square feet of patios. There is roughly 12 miles of water on this ranch in the form of man-made waterfalls, creeks, and lakes. It comes with an airport hangar that has a two-bedroom, two-bathroom apartment upstairs and a 6,000-foot runway, a fleet of vehicles nearby to drive people to the main part of the ranch, and fire trucks as well. Because this ranch might as well be a small town at this point. A small Number town. Number 9. Casa Encantada, 40,000 square feet. Located in Bel Air, California, along with the other mega mansions, the Casa Encantada, or House of Enchantment, was built in 1938, and no expense was spared in its construction, which is saying a lot, seeing how this was during the Great Depression. The property was put up for sale in October of 2019 for a whopping $225 million, which at the time earned it the title of the most expensive property for sale in the United States. The Casa Encantada is nearly 40,000 square feet and has 60 rooms including a reception hall, 18-foot ceilings, rooms, a card room, bro. a dining room, several living rooms, and an indoor bar. Stick around a bit, because this isn't even Yo, the craziest mansion to come that, out of Bel Air. But it's like, Number eight. how big is too big? Like, like come on, bro. M multiple living rooms. Like, bro, just give me one big living room and a big-ass kitchen with, like, a real-life butcher and a dinosaur barbecue and a Five Guys burger in the basement. That's all I need. The Pritzker Estate, 49,000 square feet. 
Built for billionaire Anthony Pritzker, this estate is located Damn, in Los Angeles, oh, California. Y'all saw her? Y'all saw Built her? Billion- She's all up it. She's like, I will not let you go anywhere. You will be mine. Billionaire Anthony Pritzker, this estate is located in Los Angeles, California, and took about six She's years focused. to complete. Spanning she has the eyes on the to 2011, prize. which was ample time spent turning this building into one of the largest private residences in the city. Often referred to as the Grand Hyatt Bel Air, the main building covers an area of 49,000 square feet. It's got two basement levels, making it deceptively smaller than its actual Ooh. size. Going down to the basement, basement, you'll find a game room, a bowling alley, a bar, offices, and an entertainment foyer. Above ground, you've got a gym, a library, a beauty salon, a spa, and a massive swimming pool. And that's not all you'll find above ground. That's Yo, just inside. I can't wait till we get to number on one. The outside, you'll find like, a guest house, a if pool number house, one is what a tennis I think court, it is, a residence for the staff that work cool. on the property. Side all you know your is mansion cool. is huge when you need but live in staff different. to keep it running. And to top it off, there are two parking garages, one of which is big enough to hold 60 cars. The temperature of this property is maintained by geothermal systems and a climate control apparatus. Geothermal and it's got amenities system. many hotels can only dream of. Fitting for the man who makes his money from a hotel empire. Number seven, Fairfield Pond, 62,000 square feet. Located oh, in the Hamptons, insane. Fairfield Pond stands out Hamptons. among the crowd of lavish so mansions, over here in not New York. just by being massive, but also being worth a lot of money. Some estimates put it's worth over $500 million, even though it was built at a cost of $110 million back in the 90s. The 62,000 square feet mansion is set on 63 acres of prime beachfront property and is accompanied by two pool houses and a playhouse, which cover an added 40,000 square feet of space. There are about 21 bedrooms and 18 bathrooms on the property. 12 chimneys, so bedrooms, Santa bro. doesn't get lost. A massive dining room, and about all 91 those bedrooms feet long, two bowling like, alleys, know, like, a squash court, a basketball court, and a billiard I don't care how much money I have, it's like, have bro, fun sitting down, I'm not going to with a screen take up a big enough to fit 164 need, people, a hot tub that costs about the same as a supercar, and a 100-car garage. I mean, the tax on this mansion alone will build you your own mansion and then sell. And it's in New York. Number six, Gemini, 62,000 square feet. Located on the island of Manila, in the south of Palm Beach, Florida, lies a $195 million mansion that is just one of America's most expensive mansions, but also one of the largest ones in the country. The mansion is 62,000 square feet large and has 21 bedrooms, several dining rooms, and lounge rooms, libraries, a media room, and a massive wine cellar. The property also comes with a botanical garden with 1,500 different species of plants, and a seven-bedroom guest house, two cottages, and an apartment block, all sat on 16 points. Six Why, acres bro, of land. Like, like, and if you think that's all, then you haven't seen too many mega mansions, have you? I recommend you like, go back through our catalog of videos. I'll wait. Now, back to the mansion. There's a putting green on the property because it's large enough to play golf on, so why not? There's a large pool, a giant tree house for all ages, a dock for your boat, and a basketball court. And there's plenty yeah, more where that, that came from. Court. The Gemini has you know two elevators invite, and a whole invite network of underground tunnels over. connecting to the different like, structures on the property it's and it's all the way to the other me. side of the island for those quick getaways when the IRS comes. Number 5. 28A Rutland Gate, 62,000 square feet. Most mansions are either out in the woods, off in the countryside, yeah, this or in the middle like of a ranch. A for building. Reason. It's a lot harder to build your mega mansion smack dab in the center of a city, but 28A Rutland Gate found a way. The mansion this is, is in located London. in central London, overlooking Hyde Park, and was sold in 2020 for $262 million, making it the most expensive house ever sold in the country. 28A Rutland Gate was once four separate homes before they were all combined into one 62,000 square feet mega mansion. That sounds the mansion cool. is seven stories tall and has a total of 45 rooms, including 20 bedrooms, several grand stables, a cool, spa and gym, a basement my house pool, to like, and an underground parking garage. Like people could drive right in front of your crib. Like, I mean, the thing is seven stories noise. tall, for goodness sake. Nah. The interior of the mansion was it's designed by Alberto Pinto, the prolific nah, French can, interior designer who has like designed homes all city. over the world. The interior of Rutland Gate includes masterpieces, like 24-karat gold-plated waste bins and jewel-encrusted bidets. Yeah, Alberto Pinto is a little eccentric. Number 4. Pensmore, 72,000 square feet. 
The Pensmore Mansion is a massive 72,000 square feet. It has 13 Dad, bedrooms, like 14 bathrooms, and has undergone several redesigns and is likely not yet finished. The mansion was built as a survival stronghold first and mega mansion second. The structure has 12 inch thick <laughs> exterior walls and is allegedly resistant to even the most powerful tornadoes, hurricanes, and earthquakes. Stephen Huff even said yeah. in an interview that the what building should be sturdy what enough to stand thousand to me and years, which is either an impressive feat of architecture or propaganda to scare people away from the stronghold when society collapses. You decide. The structure is also allegedly resistant to fire, bulletproof, bomb-proof, and bug-resistant, which has got people speculating wildly about the real purpose of the mansion, with suggestions about it being a backup location for the president being passed around. My question is, when society crumbles, are we running towards or away from Pensmore? Number 3. Tahoe Yuen, 72,400 square feet. I'm pretty this confident isn't just one of the large that mansions. I know what number one it's is going It's also the most expensive mansion in be. China. The term Tahoe Yuen means utopia, and this mansion has probably earned that name. On top of being beautifully designed, it's also very, very big. There are 32 bedrooms and bathrooms in the mansion, all of which have been oriented towards the south, which might have something to do with Feng Shui, or so residents can have a beautiful view of the nearby feng lake. Shui. I don't know, because if you haven't guessed, I'm not an architect. The property is decorated with traditional Chinese architecture and artworks, which might have a thing or two to do this with the cool. mansion being located in China. I'm not sure. It recently sold for $154 million, which is about the price you'd expect for a Feng Shui-designed Chinese mega mansion. And if you still feng think this mansion isn't cool, well, oh, UNESCO shui, deemed it a I've World Heritage Site, so take it up with them. Shui. Number 2. Modern Versailles, 90,000 square feet. Close, Building a massive mega mansion close enough. Two, three if the weather isn't on your side. So when I say this mansion has taken over 15 years to build and it still isn't complete, you know it deserves our number 2 spot. Constructing this behemoth of a mansion has been quite the tall order. First, a man-made hill had to be constructed on 10 acres of lakefront land, and then the Herculean task of erecting a 90,000 square feet mansion could begin. Inside the mansion, there's going to be 14 bedrooms, 11 kitchens, 5 pools, 3 indoors and, and 2 outdoors, I'm a video a arcade, fan. and a ballroom capable of holding up to a thousand whoever, guests. Whoever what did you think? They build like a palace and old, not include a ballroom. Like. By 2050, when this mansion is finally complete, it'll be one of the biggest and most valuable mansions in the United States, right. aside from the newly invented hover mansions, of course. Number one. The one. one. I told y'all, this is crazy, bro. 100,000 square feet. Very aptly named, this mansion has been under construction by former by movie producer Neo Niall Niami all yeah. the way since 2013, and things went smoothly enough to have it become the largest mansion ever As built 11 in the world. Pools. This prime piece of real estate is located in no other place but Bel Air, California, to absolutely nobody's surprise. This mansion covers over 100,000 square feet of Insane. space, an absolute chunker of a building. It's got 20 bedrooms, 30 right. bathrooms, two right. massive dining rooms, a kitchen a that club. puts restaurants to shame and a garage that holds 30 cars. But that's just the regular stuff. Right. A mansion isn't worth its salt if it isn't so fun you'd never want to leave. On that note, this mansion comes with a wine cellar capable of holding more than 10,000 bottles, five swimming right. pools, a bowling alley, a 36-seat movie theater. The, the, the movie theater he said cost like $10 million by itself. A large casino and its very own nightclub. And and the, the design club. of this mansion is top-notch, with minimalist designs, marble walls, see-through glass and an amazing view of the los angeles skyline and yo if y'all made it this far roof. into Plus, this video feel like a god the stare down at the tiny mansion. mansions below go on Which youtube one of these they have like those they have is there both such a thing as a mansion being two. too big please comment below and if you enjoyed this video do leave they have part one and part two that is going to be 60 <laughs> minutes of you just saying what am i doing wrong with my life like it's crazy right because i'm talking about all the other ones like yo why do you need this why do you need that? But then when it comes to that mansion, I'm just like, bro, that's everything you can need. Like, you need a golf cart to go all around. Like, if, if you had kids and they play hide and seek, you're not finding your kid. Like, like literally, you just got to say, yo, let's lock the doors. So make sure nobody get, gets out. And let's spend the next two or three days looking for the kids. Like, that's how big that place is. Insanity, bro. Insanity. A hundred thousand square feet. There's nothing more for me to say. Uh, that's the video. <laughs> Leave a comment in the comment section. My name is Rain.
Catch you on the flip side. RCP's in the wait for it.